Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding and subtracting positive rational numbers. This is standard 5.3K in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 1 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Paul is finding some money. He's got seven cents on his desk, 98 cents under his bed, $2.04 in his closet. So we just need the total amount. That lets us know we are going to add. Seems pretty simple, but the problem is, is they gave us this, these amounts in word form. They didn't give us the decimals. We've got to translate these into decimals, and then we have to make sure we round them to the, the nearest dollar if we need to for estimation. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just put them in the exact correct spots for our actual sum. But we are going to estimate first because I think that is going to help us. So look at this right here. We've got two dollars and four cents. Those two go together. Well, we know that four cents is really not a whole lot of money. So I'm just going to just kind of round it um, I'm just going to round it down to two dollars. Right, I'm just going to call that two dollars. Then I've got the 98 cents. I know that a hundred cents makes a dollar. That's really close. So I'm just going to call this a dollar. And then I've got seven cents. So what is that? Just seven pennies or maybe a nickel and two pennies? That's basically nothing. So I'm just going to call that, I'm going to round it down to nothing. So my estimate is two and one. I mean, my estimate is I just have about three bucks. And that actually helps because take a look at my answer selections. This looks way too big. A, $2.09, way too small. I'm pretty sure it's B, but there's a chance it could be C. So take a look at that. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little dotted dashed lines. 372 seems a bit big. The closest answer is 309, and there's not really anything else near it. So through my estimation, I could, if I wanted to, just answer B and be pretty confident. But, of course, we're going to do the actual math. So you notice how when I was writing out word form, I kind of lined it up like this. That's going to be our, our biggest issue is lining up our decimals. So let's do that with each of these. So seven cents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of place value here and I'm going to put dollars and I'm going to put dimes and I'm going to put pennies. It's going to be a weird kind of money place value thing here but you'll see what we're doing in just a moment. So if I have seven cents that's zero dollars that's less than a dime, so I've got zero dimes, and I've got seven pennies. So I can make seven cents with obviously seven pennies. I can make it with a dime, sorry, with a nickel and two pennies, but I'm not going to use any dimes at all. So seven cents is going to look like seven hundredths if I am using just regular place value terms. Now I've got my 98 cents. That is still zero dollars but 98, I can use that with nine dimes if I want to, and eight pennies, maybe nine dimes, a nickel, and three pennies, but either way, it's gonna line up like this. And then I've got my $2.04, so I finally at least have some dollars here. So I've at least got this $2 right here, but take a look at this four cents. This is where it can get a little bit tricky because some of us are tempted to put that four cents right there, 2.4, that would be $2.40. That four cents is once again, zero dimes, four pennies. So unless you build out your addition problem like this, you are gonna get the incorrect answer. But once we have this, it's pretty simple. Line up the decimals, bring the decimal down into our sum, add straight down. So seven and eight is 15, add the four is 19. We are going to see one and zero is one, at that nine is 10. And then we've just got one and two, and there is our three. So just like we thought, the answer is going to be B, $3.09.